The Prime Goblet Squat is a fantastic hip mobility drill and it's one of my favorite pre-training warm-up moves. Here's how to do it, as well as some common mistakes to avoid. Grab a light kettlebell by the horns. Get in a shoulder width stance with your feet slightly turned out. Initiate the squat by pushing your knees apart and pulling yourself down. Send your hips down and back as if you're sitting on a curb. Heels stay planted. Wedge your elbows inside your knees against the meaty part of your inner quad. Push your knees apart with your elbows and pry your hips in multiple directions. Keep a long spine and a flat back. Proud chest, long collarbones, and shoulders away from yours. Go as deep as you can without letting your back round. As you pry, visualize widening your pelvis and pulling your hip joints out of their sockets. Try to make space in your hips. Stay in the bottom, breathe, and relax without letting your spine round. If you want, do some curls, keeping your elbows where they are. To stand, brace your abs and initiate the ascent with a grunt. Make sure your hips and shoulders ascend at the same speed. Here are four common mistakes to avoid in the prying goblet squat. Mistake number one, rounding the back. Don't let your spine round. Keep a long spine and a flat back. Mistake number two, dropping the elbows. Don't let your elbows sink down. Your elbows should stay glued to your inner quad or VMO muscle here. Mistake number three, letting the heels come up. Don't let your heels come up. Keep them planted while you pry. Mistake number four, coming up tail first. Don't let your butt rise faster than your shoulders. Brace your abs and make sure your hips and shoulders ascend at the same speed. Add some prying goblet squats into your warmups. You're gonna find that your hips are gonna be primed for squatting and whatever you're doing in your kettlebell training for that day. And practicing these will also improve your hip and squat mobility over time. If this was helpful, give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.